Life is short, have an affair, but at least make sure that you have some special characters and numbers in your passwords, you idiots. These hackers have now exposed married people who are using this website to have an affair? Uh, well, it, it, I think it's, it shows you that, but it also shows when you think you're being secret, you may not be. Ashley Madison is a dating site for people who are already married and want to cheat on their spouses or want to date someone who wants to cheat on their spouse. It has 37 million people using it. So buy monogamy, I guess that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> now there's a group of hackers calling themselves the Impact Team. That sounds like an anti-drug, like a touring group that would go to like your <laughs> high school. Hey, you want to smoke some pot? No thanks. Drugs are for losers. The Impact team has posted some sensitive data online stolen from Ashley Madison's parent company and are threatening to post all of the personal information of all the users if they don't take it down immediately. Ashley Madison also <laughs> owns two other companies. One is called Established Men, where if you are an above 25 year old established rich dude, you could Take your pick of any young gold diggers who are 18 on. They also own Cougar Life, which is just, it's just an animal protection program. Hopefully, that one's not yeah. interesting. I hope that one's about big cats. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's like, has nothing to do with individuality. They're just like, no, we gotta save the tigers. So aside from just the content on the site, uh, the Impact team is also taking issue with a feature Ashley Madison has called Fully Delete. Uh, where you pay $19 and it supposedly erases all the traces that you've ever been on Ashley Madison, but they're calling this a complete lie. They say they can still find you. No information is sacred on the internet. It's already been uploaded to Imgur, probably. The hackers continue, too bad for those men. They're cheating dirt bags and deserve no such discretion. And with over 37 million members, a significant percentage of the population is about to have a very bad day. The CEO of Avid Life Media, Noel Biderman, said they are working tirelessly to protect everyone's personal info and that they are on the doorstep of confirming who we believe is the culprit. Uh, let's look at some tweets. At my Twitter name, <laughs> says, is it bad that I find the Ashley Madison hack quite funny? Sorry, cheaters. Shrugs. No, it's not bad. You, you know what? My Twitter name, you can find whatever you want funny. That's your <laughs> prerogative. At Reed Kinderman, says, if you are one of those fine, devoted people who uses Ashley Madison, you really only have yourself to blame for what might happen, right? That's right, that's right. Don't do stupid shit on the internet if you don't want people to find out about it. Yeah, leaving a, an extensive internet paper trail seems like a terrible way to Dum Dums yeah. at Miss Schlieves. <laughs> With all the lengths men go to to avoid getting caught cheating, you'd think Ashley Madison would have some good security. Yeah, you would think that there's good security, but then you watch an interview with him and Dr. Phil and you find out, no, this dude is as big of an idiot, if not a bigger idiot than the people using his site. If you look at every society on the planet, affairs happen. And so if Ashley Madison didn't exist, do you think you'd stop a single affair from happening? Of course not. They would continue to happen on singles dating sites or in the workplace. What do you guys think? Do you think these hackers are justified? Do you think that these uh, these website users should get their comeuppance? Uh, or do you think that that should just be left in, you know, their private lives? I'll let the cheaters gonna cheat. So let us know in the comments what you think about uh, this scandal. I'm Whitney Moore, thanks for watching.